Hello friends, in this session we will discuss the brief history of Arya Samas. What is Arya Samas and what are the principles of Arya Samas and also we will discuss the important role played by Arya Samas in India. You just see Arya Samas is one of the social religious movement in India and great person, great scholar like Dayanand Saraswati who was obviously the founder of Arya Samaj is associated with this and other scholars also associated with the concept the organization Arya Samaj. So let's begin Arya Samaj. You just see Arya means this word Arya means actually noble. Right? So Arya Samaj means this is organization. So Arya Samaj means noble organization, you can say. It's a noble organization. Noble organization. First thing, it was established at Bombay in the year 1875. So first thing is that it was established in 1875, more particularly 7th April. You can say Dayanand Saraswati. Dayanand Saraswati. Dayanand Saraswati established Arya Samaj at Bombay in the year 1875. You have to remember the first point regarding the establishment of Arya Samaj. However, there is a confuse that Arya Samaj originally established at Bombay or Lahore. Let me clear, in the beginning, Arya Samaj was established at Bombay and later on, at Lahore, it became a religious movement. So you have to remember this point also. Sometimes, Bombay is asked in the exam and also Lahore is asked. So at Bombay, it was first time established, originally established, and later it became a social religious movement and established at Lahore. In uh, you can say uh, 1877 era. So you have to remember this point 1875. And presently headquarters, present headquarter, present headquarter Ajmer. Ajmer in Rajasthan. So present headquarter is Rajasthan. This is the point you have to remember. And after that, we'll discuss the principles of Arya Samaj. What are the principles? The members of Arya Samaj believed in the existence of one God. They believed in the existence of one God and opposed Opposed worshipping of idols. Worshipping of idols. Or you can say worshipping of statue. Stone statue. Stone statue. Or you can say clay statue also. Any type of statue. Idols, they discarded, they opposed. So they believe in one God, members of Arya Samaj believed in one God and they opposed worshipping idols or statue or stone God, Goddess. These are the things you have to remember while studying the principles of Arya Samaj. Another important principle is they believed in the authority of Vedas. Authority of Vedas. The members of Arya Samaj, they believe Vedas are the original storehouse of knowledge and there is no second knowledge which is superior to Vedas. So they believe in the authority of Vedas. So these are the principles you have to remember with respect to Arya Samaj. Right? Now we will discuss regarding Dayanda Saraswati important facts. One is 
Dayananda Saraswati wrote several books. But the most important book is Satyat Prakash. Most important book, Satyat Prakash. Please remember this, Satyat Prakash. So he wrote this book in 1875, the same year Arya Samaj was also established. So you have to remember, then Saraswati wrote this book, Satyat Prakash. In 1875, in this book, you will find the principles of Brahmacharya and he emphasized several things here also. Uh, you can say he emphasized ascetic life, Brahmacharya, or you can say chastity, many things. Also, he talked about the importance of Vedas. So all these things you will find in Satyat Prakash. Please remember this is very very important for exam point of view, right? Now we will focus another part of Dhananda Saraswati. He was the first person to coin the term Swaraj. <clears throat> the term Swaraj was, was coined by coined by Dhananda Saraswati. This is the point you have to remember. Dhananda Saraswati first time used the term Suraj and it became very popular later on because Bal Gangadhar Tilak during freedom struggle adopted this concept of Suraj. Right? We know this very well. So this is the point also you have to remember with respect to Dhananda Saraswati. And now we have to understand then the Saraswati was born in which year and he died in which year. This is the point you have to remember. In 1824, then the Saraswati was born, 12th February, and 30th October 1880, uh, you can say 1883, he died. So this point is also important, please remember. Dhananda Saraswati was born on 12 February 1824 and died on 30 October 1883. These important dates you have to remember while studying regarding Dhananda Saraswati. I hope you got this point, right? And the official language of Arya Samas, the organist was Hindi. Like Arya Samaj promoted Hindi language and objected Punjabi and other languages. Right? These are the points I hope you got. And let's revise, let's recapitulate all those things. Right? First thing I have told Arya Samaj means noble organization, number one. Number two, Arya Samaj was established by Swami Dayananda Saraswati in 1875 at Bombay. Later on, it became a religious movement in Lahore, present-day Pakistan. And the headquarters presently you will find in Ajmer. And principles, they believe in the existence of one God. They believe in the authority of Vedas. They say and oppose that worshipping of idols, stone statue, is not good because they believe in the Vedas. There is no such uh, idol or sit in Vedas. Next thing is Suraj the term. Suraj the term was first coined by Dhan Saraswati and later one it was later on it was pro uh, uh, popularized by Tilak. These are the things you have to remember. And then the Saraswati wrote a famous book, Satyat Prakash, in 1875. And then the Saraswati was born in 1824, died in 1883. So these are the things you have to remember while studying Arya Samaj and uh, its history and objective. Thank you very much. Wish you happy learning. Thank you.